I didn't imagine that it would be such a great, you know, kind of team effort with all the people here who have been very supportive. I had learned on this trip how my first BMW love, the, 2000, uh, the 2002, not the year, but the model number, uh, was like my dream car as a kid. And here I get to work on an M2 later in life and it's kind of full circle. It's amazing, yeah. So, thank you. I think gray, stop. Black, stop. Uh, maybe gray again, stop. And then the white. Okay. So, we just okay. build it up like that. Step by step. Mm. Break, put the heater on. Okay. Another eight minutes. But now I'm very pleased and, and yeah, I, I couldn't have imagined it would come out as it has. So I'm very happy. Plus the the official artists of the company have been amazing help. And uh, taught me some tricks about how to use the equipment. Then we come with gray. So the next one we'll do is black on top of these, just a little bit. Uh, it's kind of really awesome that no one car is actually the same, you know, because in fact, you know, it's not like we're running it through some factory machine and they're all done by hand and you know, that that lends to the individuality of, of every vehicle. The interesting part about the cooperation with Lenny was to find a way to let him work with the tools that we use, with automotive standards, with our paint guns, with our material. So we found a nice way of cooperation with the plant in Lanz, with our experts, coming here, explaining him our technology and our tools. Then he's working together with them, and maybe this is something how we can later on find a method in order to cooperate, even on additions in the future, and bringing this technology also to cars. The sample on the, on the fender here is, is, is one, one very neat example, and I think this is, this is something that we could really elaborate on. Painting with the, this sort of power tools almost, um, and 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 the paint guns that we have here, um, you know, they're they're kind of like glorified spray cans. I mean, they're really like industrial spray cans. So part of the process is you have to you have to keep working the paint while it's wet, which is perfect for me because you know I I like to be spontaneous and and react to what's happening. And I think I did the best I could to realize the car in the. Uh, kind of um, sample or whatever my working idea was of what it would look like. It's not exactly what I submitted, but it's quite close. But for me, this is even nicer than what we we proposed. You know, and now seeing it in, in the flesh and in, in the in the cold metal, it's beautiful. Yeah. And I really like uh, what we did with these secondary elements on top of the stickers that we that we did. Um, yeah, it's quite nice, guys, really. Very, very happy. Um, wow. It'd be our expectation.